The Card Hunter here. Getting up from the stretcher and moving forward. So last video I posted, which is over a week ago, I can't believe it's been that long because there has been some activity in my, my card hunting world. But um, I definitely been wrapped around the axle on the Victor Webinyamo Gold Wave um, that I, you know, pulled beautifully out of a pack. Have it on video. Sent to PSA within 12 hours. Got it back within, you know, a week uh, with a grade of PSA 6. Now, I examined that card. I will say in one of the videos I made, Neo, Eagle Eye Neo, did do a good job of pointing out where he saw the deflect flaw issue with the card, um, which I did confirm. I will say, I looked at this thing under the little microscope thing, and it looked fine. It's only the way, I guess, that it is. It's what they call a, a factory crease. Not that the card was creased afterwards. It's a factory crease. This is really weird. Um, I'm going to tell you how I got some more verification of this. So, I cracked the card. <coughs> um which I learned more about PSA cracking. They had a nice film. Of, uh, not, the car was not encased, but there was a film protecting the front of the car, which I thought was great. Um, I took the card to the Chantilly show this weekend. I did show it to Jeff Wilson and asked him his opinion of it. He just looked at me like, oh, well, we're not looking for victors right now, which is kind of interesting. I wasn't like trying to push the victor. I was kind of asking his opinion and specifically asked him this. Did he think I'd be better off sending it back to Panini? Like going back and saying, look, it's a factory defect. I can see it now. It got a PSA grade of a six. There's something wrong. This is a very rare card. You know, you guys put out an inferior product. He didn't really have much to say on that. He made a comment. He doesn't have any connection with Panini. I was like, you know, I said to him, this is one of the challenges in the modern hobby. As a hobbyist, I should be able to go get access to Panini in order to get something like this repaired. And we know Panini's customer service is poor. I'm being nice because I'm going to be, you know, begging them to do something for me. Anyway. Um, I talked to a couple other people. One guy I showed it to. He said, wasn't this already great? I said, yeah. I said, did not jam. He goes, yeah, it's probably a six. I said, bingo. It is going to be a six. I said, it's factory defect. Um, I took it to, here's here's the catch. I got all these you know opinions of it. No one really wanted to do anything. No one wanted to give me an offer or give me a solution. I, the only person who gave me a solution, you're going to love this. Chantilly Show. I spoke to Mr. Minty. I go over Mr. Minty. I said, look, dude, can I ask you a question? Can you take a look at this card? He looks at it. This little thing. PSA 6. It's got a crease on it. I'm like, a crease? How does that even happen? And he does a great job of explaining to me how this crease took place. He gives me a potato salad analogy. I'm not going to go into that. But just think potato salad and saran wrap crease. I'm like, ah, okay. Um, but he said, this is definitely a factory issue. That didn't happen after the fact. The man manufacturer would know this. It's about the way the, the thing was made with the packing and blah, blah, blah. So he said, you got to take this back to Panini. He goes... A high item like this, they either have a good replacement or they should do something for you. And I thought to myself, huh, you're probably right. I'm like, I'm not going to sell the card for, you know, anything that I think would be a value. So on Mr. Minty's recommendation, guys, I decided to submit the card back to Panini and I shipped it off this morning. So I did come home. I gathered the necessary pieces. I went to the website. I filed the factory damage, put the note on there, um, got everything together this morning, shipped it insured it and signature confirmation and we will see we will see i mean part of me is very happy that i did not buy this card raw like i pulled this card from a pack so you have this well you know it really didn't cost me a lot now i've spent a lot of money in those packs getting to where i was with that card um anyway i just i, I i'm curious to see what will happen that's why i'm making this video i thought i'd give you guys an update I'm at the mercy of the Panini Corporation. Before, I will tell you, I had a friend who worked at Panini and I reached out to him over a year ago when I had an issue with my cat, Christian McCaffrey Mac, uh, redemption. And he actually helped me get that resolved. Um, I don't know anybody at Panini right now. I know Tracy Hackler is there. I, I've shaken his hand at the National. He doesn't respond to any messages that I've sent to him. So I, you know, I don't really know anybody at Panini who could help me out. I'm really at the mercy of the Panini world. We will see what happens. I don't even know how long they're going to take. Um, it'll be interesting. On the other front, I will say, just on, on a note, other things I've been doing, a lot of PSA submissions. Um, I sent out, you know, the the victor that came back. I also sent out um, two orders, 22 victors that I got that are in the grading. Well, they're not grading process yet. They're in the research and ID process, which I think is funny because it's the same card. 22 Monopoly base prisms, the same card. It's been in research and ID for a long time. thinking, really, guys? Really? Like, it's one card, man. Really? Really? One card. <coughs> I sent it another order, 47 cards. A spectra of stuff. Hockey, basketball, football, baseball, all four sports represented. 
Um, those both went out in March when I set up the, uh, the Victor and the Connor. So I'm looking forward to that process and seeing how it goes. Again, my first PSA submissions. I'm, I'm nervous. My first two, which I sent over, I got a PSA 8 and a PSA 6. So right now, my, my, I'm not even like minting shit or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible right now. Um, but I have those two big orders in. And then just today, I submitted the next order. I put together 50 cards with the new special they're doing, which is really the same price as last week, last month. Um, but I put together 50 cards, uh, 12 victors. I think all together, 12, 10, 22. I have about 40 to 50 victor Webanyamos at PSA for grading. Um, I did, I did pull a pink victor prism, ice cracked ice out of a mega box um, that I got online. I'll put it that way. <laughs> it wasn't in a break. Uh, and then I actually picked up a mega box at my local store the, store the other day. It was the only one left. I have not opened that. I have that on the, on the side. So right now, hobby is, um, is going well. There's not a lot of cool products I, I want to get into. I will be honest. Part of me wanted to do some of the fast break and the choice prisms, but, and there's some people hitting some monsters on there. Loot boxes hitting some monsters on there. But until I get this Panini um, Wimbayambo thing resolved, I've paused on, um, I'm not doing any new Monopoly. I'm kind of pausing my Prism stuff. Um, I'm also waiting a lot for these these, these uh, grades to pop because when they pop, I'm going to have to pay. Pop and pay, right? Um, anyway, that's what's going on here in the Card Hunters world. Thought I'd share that. Like, comment, subscribe. More content definitely coming up, guys. Really appreciate the support.